Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. So today I wanted to speak about uh, these black cats. As I said in my previous video, I'm just going to continue the same. And I had also told that the black cats are not as normal as the normal cats. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing about the spiritual aspects of black cats. Yes, so uh, black cat, it is like any other cat okay it is just its fur is black in color so uh, like so basically black cats are like you know their fur is uh, dark in color so in the melamine uh, in their body is more so that is the reason of that black color texture or color of their body so that is the only difference uh, physical aspects of a normal cat and a black cat and uh, in a spiritual way as i have known uh, like i have seen through internet and uh, like uh, even normal day-to-day uh, -day life when i come across people and they see a black cat they say it's a bad luck so first of all like what is this term bad luck so what is a black cat it is just a creature it has veins it has blood like any other creature and uh, like it is also it's not some magician okay so it's just like a cat or a dog or a human it has flesh it has blood it has muzzle bones everything and uh, just the term black is bad luck okay then uh, why do people have black hair you know so in that case if you see all the human beings are bad luck because they have black hair and they, if they wear black dress it's also bad luck so what is this concept of bad luck i have no idea you know mm, you have heard it from the you know the elders or the spiritual leaders or your own family like the elders tell you have to just not blindly believe whatever people tell so it's not like you're a small kid to learn at 24 plus age that yeah if someone says black cats is a bad luck you trust that you believe that why don't you see it as an animal as a creation as one of god's creation again okay so what is this bad luck i don't know black cats are always compared or related to witchcraft black black magic and so many other things so what is which okay if you talk in that term only witchcraft or black magic so who are doing that humans right the black cats are not sitting and doing the black magic or the witchcraft right so who is more uh, responsible for that bad luck there since humans are involved they are more responsible for that witchcraft and black magic in turn which is related to bad luck so why are you uh, just telling a poor creature that it is bad luck it is it's so innocent it has nothing to do with what the human is terming them uh, in the current era okay so black cats are not bad luck they are just like any other creatures and they also have feelings emotions and uh, they also deserve to be loved taken care of and they're equally important as any other animal including human beings that are existing on this planet okay the second thing is that if you go back to the history of black cats they were actually worshipped in ancient egypt all right so yes they were worshipped like god okay so yes so you have different aspects like one person says black cat is more relevant to black magic the other one says no they were worshipped as god so there are a lot of concepts here what to believe what not to believe so there's nothing to believe just see it as an animal and just take care and love it as you do for any other pet in your life okay so yes so there should be a reason that why they were worshipped in ancient egypt's I would also say that um, coming to the point that black cats are not as normal as the normal cat yes they do have some magical or spiritual aspects okay it's like I have read or I have known I do own a black cat so I have seen it I have seen the way it reacts like see uh, again um, when there is a full moon or no moon the, it was always uh, related to aspects of spirits roaming here and there so definitely 
since i own a black cat i myself has have seen him you know chasing something uh, on the ceiling or on the wall which is not visible to my eyes so there's no explanation for this so this definitely there is a spiritual aspect to that and also like um, black cats are supposed to be healers for their human partners because you know uh, normally if you see in hospitals for patients like old patients or the patients who are suffering long term they do send uh, you know volunteer dogs and cats uh, to uh, humans because they have a super healing power so yes there are a few aspects which are completely different from humans so they do have that extra power extra magic in them and uh, yes they are very good healers and even in my own personal experience i do have a lot of leg pain and all that so when i sleep on the bed he comes and sleeps on my leg i do feel a feeling of comfort you know that it's like it's like the heat which they emit from their body and also feeling of comfort that they give you that you immediately calm down your nerves calm down and you tend to relax and you're completely relaxed so yes that is also at a personal level of experience and also black cats tend to sit at a spot in your home where there is a negative energy i would explain that more better see uh, if you see your black cat sitting at home in a one particular place most of the time so there's not a necessary for them to be sitting there but if you see them sitting there even if it is not comfortable position they are regularly sitting there that means that place is emitting negative energy for example again personal level i would say i had a fish tank and uh, yes it was placed on the floor and i had gold fishes in it and uh, sometimes due to you know work thing that we couldn't concentrate on the fish tank on a daily basis yes we used to wash it on a regular basis but my mom or me like we were all busy and not concentrating and i used to see this guy sitting frequently near the fish tank you know so yes then later i came to know that the water was little murky and there were tiny fishes that you won't know whether they are there or not they can be even hiding behind those stones or those artificial trees inside the tank and that is where i came to know that all of them had died and yes there was not even one fish living there so yes we removed the tank and i don't know because the water at our area is hard water or whatever uh, the fishes were not sustaining after you know multiple maintenance cleaning feeding and what not so we decided to put down the fish tank and remove it from our like you know stop getting fishes and take out the fish tank and then i later saw that my cat was not sitting at that particular place so i'm a person who i don't like to listen to people straight even though they are professionals but i like to do research on my own so that i get again knowledge at my level of understanding and take care of my cat at my uh, you know the efforts that i can provide to it so that is the reason i kept on googling and trying to understand their their ability to do these uh, magical stuff so that is where i came to know all these things so yes a black cat uh, sits at a place where due to the reason that they absorb the negative energy to protect the house and its human partners okay so once that negative energy is removed from the house they stop sitting there the other way the dog actually if there is a negative energy in the house they do not tend to stay even closer to that they don't get comfortable where there is negative energy so that is where you can come to know when you have a dog or a cat you know they show those signs that this place at your home is having negative energy or positive energy or it needs fixation now uh now see we'll move to the next thing so black is a beautiful color so there are so many most of the colors in this world are human made is all black because it it's beautiful color if, if you see in the car or your dress like you know especially fair people if they wear black dresses and your hair is naturally black until you color it like blue and all those nonsense colors 
so yes so black is a very beautiful color and in indian culture it is also known if you put like a black dot on your face or the head where a person stares at you more prominent so it is said to reflect the bad energy back to them so there is a lot of good things in black also so why do you treat black cat like it is a sin or you don't need i have i read somewhere in google that there was a mass destruction of black cats at one area due to the fact that the people local people there believed that they were related to witchcrafts and black magic and they destroyed a bunch of cats black cats there and in turn they were cursed forever to you know suffer the wrath of killing the black cats so you have no right to destroy any creature on this world okay uh, if you want to destroy or create or maintain just do it at your level okay you don't in your mind whatever you want to do don't show it on a creature or a human being your frustration and all those things just because you have the power to do something just remember there is a bigger power there who can do the same thing to you you know the reason you know the concept of karma so that you need to keep in mind before you show your power on innocent things or souls okay and yes black uh, cats are always termed as very independent creatures or they have attitude or uh, you know they're not that emotional as dogs are no i i would also may have believed the same thing before getting my kid so when i got him in my life i do i don't know because see it was not a particular reason that i wanted a black cat i saw a black cat in my aunt's place and it was just so royal its color i don't know i just fell in love with that cat so that was the reason i was like i also need one i need one as a kitten so fortunately i got one and at two months of age and uh, trust me without my knowledge at a personal level he has impacted mass you know on my life he he hasn't taken care of me he has not spent money on me nor he has done anything to me but i don't know what i have got in return with him which is priceless that i can never get from anyone on this planet so they have that unconditional love which is more than enough for a depressed soul or anyone for that matter to come back to life so without doing anything for that matter okay so so at a personal level i have experienced that love that attachment and everything from him and i it just brushed away the concept of cats are not emotional cats are not sensitive they are very attitude they are very independent no they do crave your love trust me i'm not talking about black cats as a whole just keeping it as the main topic but cats basically are very emotional very sensitive they do get hurt if you shout at them and they do get hurt if you ignore them and they understand every single bit that comes out from your mouth they understand everything you may think they are dumb they don't understand anything you're just blabbering something and they are staring at you don't uh, think like that they grasp every little thing and one day you'll be surprised that they will show you what telling to them or you showed them or yes. something so cats are very yes they are independent they i won't say it's an attitude it's the royal look to them they have it in each and every hair follicle on their body because at any moment i see him walking or sitting or standing or just grooming himself or eating or even taking a pee or a poop he is royal in his every single moment because i'm not telling that it's because of my cat but i judge things based on like not keeping me in my mind not that selfish thing i judge it as it is so i have seen him the way he sits that royal look uh, the way oh my god <laughs> i uh, he's beautiful he is the most beautiful thing that i can see every day and sleep to every night so yes so yes they are and i haven't taken care of dogs but i do love dogs the same way as i love cats because i know dogs are man's best friend they 
are very emotional very sensitive very loving and yes they are more loving than a cat i would say that for sure yes but that doesn't mean that cats are less lovable or they don't need human beings or they don't need maintenance and all that okay again now again i have also seen uh, that people say if a cat crosses your path or when you're going to a very uh, auspicious work or anything a cat crosses excuse me <clears throat> a cat crosses the road it is bad luck especially if it is a black cat for example in my own life i was just going to my mom's place with our driver and uh, there was a golden color cat which just crossed the lane in a residential area and he stopped the car to the left side and waited for almost 5 minutes and i didn't even bother to ask him because i know how people's mentality is you know okay i had crossed the road let me stop okay i'm not commenting that it is not true it may be true i am no one to put the contradictory comments but don't have a negative uh, talk on anything for that matter if you don't know it is better to be quiet but if you know uh, the good part it's better to be outspoken about it so just don't judge like any cat or especially black cat crosses your path it's bad luck your work cannot be done oh my god why did this even i don't know where in which era are you people living in like 70s 60s oh my god in in this even kids nowadays who are born they are immediately given mobile phones so technology in such is such a way that you sit and still believe all this again i'm not against all the spiritual aspects or terms that are related to black cats i do respect people who think because i am no one because that is not my forte to talk about to judge about the spirituality aspects negative about the black cats or anything but i am giving my view since i do take care of one and i do have the touch and experience of taking care of a black cat okay so i am not uh, completely towards black cats also for me any animal is equally important and equally to be loved and taken care of so and that is the only thing i am not a black cat feminist or something whatever you term that but for me even a small a uh, duck or a small sparrow is as lovable i see it in the same way as i see my kid okay so yes uh hopefully you got what you wanted from this video a uh, bit be about removing the negative aspects of a black cat and if you're trying to buy one please go ahead with an open mind and an open heart accept it as your own human baby okay they are no less than a human baby and they have all the rights to be a part of your family they are a family member not a pet all right so take care guys thank you for stopping by and spending your time precious time by watching my video and i will see you guys next time take care bye bye